some of the additional things that I had done earlier was installing the .NET Core SDK. I also have the credential provider, Azure Artifact credential provider locally available. If you see the steps involved, I have shown some of the examples over here. Right, so you can try out these members on Connect to feed pane in the NuGet section. Select Visual Studio. On the Visual Studio pane property, specify the source here. If you see this source, may not be properly formatted. So we will have to format it correctly. So these are actually placeholders. Azure hyphen DevOps organization name. What is your project name that you have? Right, so you need to modify the respective URL over here. If I go back to my DevOps environment, I already have the feed available to me. Right? Any other properties which I want to share or permissions which I want to provide over here, I can do that. I can add upstream sources over here. Look at the URL here, Azure, Azure DevOps organization name. This is my organization name. As far as the project name is concerned, this is my project name, Agile Planning portfolio management with Azure boards, right? That I have to mention over here. And this will help me map my resource with Azure environment. So all these details have been given. I have already showcased the details in terms of how do you go to Visual Studio environment, Visual Studio 2019 or 22. How do you associate your NuGet package manager over there under package management settings? Right? That's where you can map your resources. In terms of task number two, if you all see, this is creating your application and making sure we are able to publish it. You will be able to publish it within your artifact repository. Right. So, this is where you have to write the complete code. I don't have time on hand right now. So, I can go through the steps over here. So I can go through the steps over here. Believe me, this does not require too much of .NET expertise. People might say uh, that Umprakash, this is more about .NET. I do. I'm not from a .NET background. I'm from a Java background, which is fine. This is not about .NET that much. It is more to do with how do you add package and how do you add this resource onto Azure Artifact. So that's the focus over here. So even if you are from Java background, you have specific labs which will help you. How do you add this dependency within Eclipse as an environment, and how do we work with that? So as part of this lab exercise, they have focused on how to build this resource, how, uh, how do you configure this member, and how do you build a .NET library and publish it and make it available in the artifact repository.
So currently, Ritesh, what I have done is I have created this GABC feed, right? And I have mentioned this in a project scope, right? You can, it, it's up to you. You can define your organization scope as well. And when you are giving permissions, you can give permissions to users on the respective feed. And based on that, they can perform their own tasks. As far as publishing is concerned, it will publish it on the current artifact repository that we have mapped. So you'll have to give the URL of your artifact repository. So once it comes to your pipelines, there are two things over here. Pipeline is actually going to refer from where you are downloading it. So when you are building a project, it is going to download or refer those artifacts when it is building the code. Along with this, you can also refer the learning paths that we have over here. And there is a specific learning path which is targeted towards dependency management. So whatever I have discussed with you all today, you all will be able to refer from the learning path link which I have shared on the chat. Let me share the lab resource as well. So I can practice this. So in the beginning of the session, I mentioned about association with Azure Artifact, uh, uh, association of Azure DevOps and GitHub as a member. So within GitHub also, you have options for artifact repository. <laughs> as a naming convention, so here you have Azure pipelines, then you have GitHub actions. So naming conventions are slightly different. In GitHub, this artifact repository is being referred as GitHub packages, right? And as part of this GitHub packages, it can help you uh, work with container registry, your, your Docker Hub kind of environment. You have Ruby gems registry, which is not part of your Azure artifacts as of now. We have NPM registry, Maven registry, NuGet registry, which is a common set of resource. So depending upon whether you want to go ahead with GitHub as an environment or whether you want to go ahead with uh, Azure artifacts, you have similar set of options available at both the places. And this will make sure right? we can make sure we have our repository, artifact repository locally being maintained as a single point of reference that can be used by different set of developers. So Ritesh, I have posted two links over here. One for Microsoft Learn and second for Are you able to access that link? because both of them are uh, not mapped to any credentials. Thanks, Archie.
to anyone any questions on whatever topics that we have covered Uh, extremely sorry for that. I said one hour thirty minutes, but during the conversation and Ritesh made it more interactive. So we slightly went ahead of time. Yeah, very good question, Ritesh. As far as these artifacts are concerned, all these artifacts are getting stored on the Azure DevOps as an environment. And if you go to your uh, staging directory, all that information will be available there. My request to all of you all, please fill in your feedback form. Your inputs are really, really valuable to us in terms of improving, enhancing our session delivery. Thank you very much for your patience and support. Over to you, Archie. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you for the session. Guys, make sure uh, before leaving the session, please fill this feedback form. Also, guys, if you're still remaining for the batches, please uh, redeem your batches. We already mentioned the step how you can redeem that batch.
Uh, thank you guys. Let's end this session now. Bye.